What's up guys? This is how you remove sway bar bushings off a 94 Cobra. Uh, as you can see, I had already moved off the uh, outer bracket holding the bushing to the sway bar. Uh, my video ended up stopping on my first go around, so that's why the uh, outer bracket's already off. Anyways, there's two bolts here that are uh, 5 8 nuts. And then I just took a 3 8 impact and just buzzed them off. Um, and then to remove the bottom bracket holding on the sway bar, sway bar bushing, you just take a crowbar, stick it in down in between here and then just pop it off so right now um, the stock bushings already on there they don't come pre-cut like the polyurethane bushings the uh, polyurethane bushings already come with a uh, cut in them so you can slide them over your uh, sway bar without removing your end links anyways the stock sway bar bushings don't have a slot cut out so you have to use a uh i used a dewalt blade razor blade and just cut it open and then once you cut it open just just pop it off And then your upper bracket, inner bracket, whatever you call it, it'll probably hang down a little bit. What I do is I'll take one bolt and I'll thread it on there. These are locking bolts factory. So I just thread it back on there so the upper bracket goes back in place. Before you slide on the polyurethane, I take uh, multi-purpose synthetic grease, the PTFE, um, it's water resistant, and I just coat the, coat the inside here, I'll coat the outside, and then where it contacts the upper bracket. So it'll look like this. Put the inside. Coat your top surface here. That's so it doesn't squeak and have vibration noise. And then you take the uh, slit side and you pop it in. Uh, slit side facing the rear. And the polyurethane is pretty easy. You don't have to have an ungodly amount of strength to slip it on there. Then you just pop it underneath your upper bracket. Um, I also take a little bit of grease and I coat the insides of the lower bracket. Now my situation is going to be a little, little different here because I have a turbo car. I can see here's my downpipe. So it's gonna be a little challenging. Getting the uh, lower bracket on. So the the bolt here just keeps the upper bracket on so you can 
uh, slide on your bushing. That's why you don't have to have you don't have to have multiple hands to hold your upper bracket. You just pop in the uh, pop in a nut, let it hold in place, and then you just take your little bracket and you try to slide it on there. Um, you're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully, it's not that much of a struggle with my downpipe there. There we go. Slide the lower bracket on. Throw your upper bracket back on. Slide that in place. Now just hammer it up. And then you'll have to maneuver it to line the holes up with the bolts. It's pretty easy. And once you get it close and the holes are bolts are lined up with the hole, throw your both your nuts on it. And then you just tighten them up. Then after you tighten them up, the nuts are tightened down to 50 foot-pounds. And that's it. The bushings are stock bushings, as you can see here. They're completely worn out. For being an almost 30-year-old vehicle. Yeah, look at the inside there. They're they're rotted anyways that's how you uh, remove and install sway bar bushings hopes this helps